here we go. This is, let's play Pokemon Platinum uh, Randomizer. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, welcome back guys. Uh, been a little while on this one, but uh, yeah, last time we uh, kind of went on a catching safari, uh, caught some new Pokemon. Uh, in between episodes, I did check the uh, the nature for uh, the uh, yeah the Donphan we caught with the speed boost, and uh, yeah, as you can see right here, speed boost. So it's got Jolly Nature, which actually boosts its speed and lowers its. Uh, uh, special attack, which is perfect. So, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be definitely keeping Don, Don Fan around. And it's uh, what type is it in this game? Flying poison. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely been a while since I played this one. So sorry if I forget like uh, what moves our Pokemon have or uh, the types or whatever. So, uh, what I think what we're gonna do in this episode? I don't think we're gonna take on the gym quite yet. We've still got like uh, eight Pokeballs. So we're just gonna head south here, uh, cause the only place we really haven't looked thoroughly for Pokemon is the, uh, mine. So, I think we'll just head in here and, uh, yeah, see what all we can find. So, uh, uh, one thing I will do, though, is let's check, uh, Don Fan's moves here. Uh, okay, so he's got Horn Attack first. Let's put the first two attacking moves up front. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think that should help us. And Horn Attack's got the most power, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's take a look in here, see what Pokemon we can possibly find. I remember, uh, wasn't Togekiss in here? Version. Yeah, yeah. That might have... Oh, it looks so cool with the Dust Ball, too. Drizzle. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, this thing might have a low enough catch rate, but, uh, you know, if we KO it, I'm not too upset about that either. You know, so... Flinch. Yeah, yeah. Take out. Always do his first. It does make you flinch, but aha, speed boost. Alright. Oh man, I, I have a feeling speed boost is going to be very, very, very helpful at some point in this, uh, yeah, should be fun. Alright, okay, one more might kill it, but that's fine if it does. We'll just try to catch the next one, not a problem. 126, that's not bad, not bad, yeah. Alright, level 6, plus 2s, nice. Uh, rapid spin, um, pretty sure that's a special move in this game? Let me check, pretty sure. Hmm. Uh, no, oh, it is physical in this game, okay. Um, sure? Let's get rid of Growl, I guess. You never know. You never know. Maybe Rapid Spin will come in clutch at some point. Um, but with that being done, let's switch switch Rapid Spin for Flail here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's keep looking for some Pokemons. Back to Big View. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because I think we have like eight Pokeballs or so. So uh, basically, until we get down to like you know. Like two or three, we'll keep looking for Pokemon. Uh, you know, so Victory Bell. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah, normally I'd be scared to stay in, but uh, I actually resist you. Pretty funny. Quad resist, I think. So that's you know, <laughs> that's pretty funny. All right. Vine quit. Oh, Greg, you get me cool quit. Cool quit. Why are you saying it like that? Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? Sweet scent. That actually might be helpful uh, for some uh, catching some Pokemon. Okay. Well, this thing is down to the red, so I guess we will try, you know, putting it to sleep and stuff. Uh, it is fully evolved, though, so, you know, I'll only try, like, you know, one or two Pokeballs, and, uh, you know, after that, yeah, I get to worry about it. So. Our yawn on. Yawn on? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, good job, Flabba Flab. There we go. Oh, you have Sleep Powder. Yeah, I think Yawn's better overall, but yeah, Sleep Powder, I think it has 75% accuracy in this game, so it can be useful. Thankfully, we got the 
on our first. Okay, so let's try. Okay, so I got one Safari Ball, uh, eight Pokeballs. Okay, let's try Pokeball. Pokeball, go! One, two. Oh, okay, I, was, I didn't even say I didn't, I didn't think we'd catch it so easily, so, okay. Alright, we'll try one more for Victory Bell. Get it, I'll just KO it. Two, three. Oh my god, I'm surprised we actually caught it. All right, well, Victor Bell was caught. Time for the Dexter voice. <laughs> Victor Bell, the flight catcher Pokemon, it pulls it pulls in its mouth a fluid with a honey like sand, which is really an acid that dissolves anything. Ooh, water psychic. That's actually some pretty good typing. Okay, not bad. Uh, yeah, um. So this is normally like Slowbro's type or Starmie's. Uh, let's call you, uh, just so it makes it easier for me to remember. Starmie Bill? Yeah, that sounds good. Star. Star. Me. Bill. All right. Hmm. Might be interesting to check that one out. All right. All right. Good, good, good. Okay, so let's, uh, hmm, let's actually head into the other room and look for a Pokemon here, because we really haven't, I think the encounter rates do, uh, in a randomizer, they do, like, you know, change depending on what room you're in, like, you may find some different Pokemon here, uh, then again, for dungeons, it may all be, uh, the, uh, the same encounters, maybe, I, I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure about that. speed boost to 3 XP. But yeah, we'll, we'll look around in here for Pokemon for, you know, the next, you know, 15 minutes or so, or until we get low on balls. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, then we'll move on. So, uh, also, Flop of Flop is asleep. I might want to fix that. Trio, trio, trio. Diglett big, Diglett big. Have we already called it Diglett in this game? I'm pretty sure. Man, this thing is level 9, though. Wow. Um, doesn't affect... Oh! It's a spooky duck trio. Okay. Uh, who's got, like, bite or something? Uh, check my... It's been a while since I did this. Uh, check my... Alright. Zap no sure up, buddy. Should provide some good EXP if nothing else. Uh, man, it resists that, so it's ghost and it resists. Is it grass type? Oh, whoops, that's Thunder Wave. That's okay though. At least it's paralyzed now. Um, maybe it is grass type, and I've just forgotten. Uh, let's see. So I think Pekka's right here. Yes. Oh, resist. Huh, resist flying and. Electric. It could be an electric type, I guess. But it's probably like, well, no, steel type doesn't resist electric, so. Yeah, it probably is electric type. Hmm. Oh, we missed. Yeah, he has sand attacks us a bunch, so. That doesn't really shock me, so. Okay, well, he is down in the red, so. I guess we'll try a couple Pokeballs, and, uh, yeah. If we don't get it, no big deal. We've already caught a Diglett, I'm pretty sure, so. Pokeball, go! And a one. A two. And there's three. Oh, it was so close. Yeah, you're telling me, game. Alright, alright. We'll try one more, and then I'm not trying anymore for you. Alright. Pokeball, go! Trio was caught. All right. Here we go. That trio, the mole Pokemon, its three heads move alternatively, driving it through tough soil to depths of over 60 miles. Oh, yeah, it's got the Rotom typing. I remember now. I remember. Uh, well, we've already got Diglett, so I'm not going to nickname him. I'm not going to nickname him. But we'll check out those two later. Uh, maybe I should go heal. Hmm. Probably a good idea. Our, uh... Our, young, our sleeper is asleep, so 
and uh, some of my Pokemon have taken damage, so yeah, I guess let's go ahead and check these guys out now. Let's see. Okay, and then we'll look it around back in the mine for another 10 minutes or so, or until I get to two or three Pokeballs. Alright, see if these guys have like any items or something. You never know, you never know. So. Oh yeah, and we can see what uh, abilities they have too, I guess. Uh, Stormy Bell, okay. Yeah, so Water Psychic, Serious, Keen Eye. Oh, it prevents it from losing accuracy. That's not the best ability, but it's not the worst one either. Okay, we know your Ghost Electric. Uh, Leaf Guard <laughs> prevents uh, status problems in sunny weather. Hmm, that's pretty funny. I guess it does have Stab on Astonish. That's... Hmm, that is pretty funny. That's kind of attractive. An attractive uh, feature, honestly, so... Hmm. Uh, we'll put Di uh, Diglett and Dugtrio right beside each other, though. Just to... Uh, oh, yeah! That's what I meant to do between videos. I forgot that we caught Flareon. Yeah, it is Steel-type, but it has, yeah, Multi-type. Hmm. I think we'll wait till we stuck up on, uh, Pokeballs, and then, uh... Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll, uh, definitely go with one with a better ability. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Let's get out of here, and, uh... Let's do that. Okay. Alright, let's go. Back to the mine. Alright. And yeah, this is kind of a, just a nice little chill episode, you know. Get our feet wet back in the randomizer and, uh, yeah. Just have some fun. Get some levels in between time. Start turning up our Dawn fan. No, Drio. Ah, okay. Not bad. There's some really... Yeah. There's a lot of evolved Pokemon I've been running into, which, which is good, though. I'm sure you guys know, but like evolved Pokemon, you know, wild evolved Pokemon, they provide a lot more experience than uh, just, uh, uh, you know, unevolved Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we did get this guy to the red, so let's, uh, let's do some switching here. Flava Flav, you're up. Time to put the, these birds to sleep. Do we have to use Yon three times? I mean, cause like it isn't isn't that canon? Like, wasn't there a, uh, a episode in the anime where uh, like some trainer had a Nodrio and one of the birds, uh, one of the heads went to sleep while the other two were still like fighting? I'm pretty sure that's canon. So wouldn't we have to use Yon like three times? I don't know. I don't know. So. <laughs> I guess that's why they gave Dodrio early bird and uh you know once abilities became a thing. Oh, it broke out right away, wow. Okay. So Dodrio might have a higher catch rate than some of the other evolutions we've been running into, but this will be our last Pokeball. So Oh yeah, it's not even it's not even close, bro. It's not even giving a shake. Um I could try the Safari Ball. Sure, sure, you know, if it breaks out, you know, that's fine. We'll just KO it, but a one, a two, a three. Nice, okay, okay. That makes me feel good. Didn't waste that Safari Ball. All right, let's see Dodrio. <laughs> oh, it's a ground type, that's so funny. Dodrio, the bird, triple bird Pokemon. When Dodrio evolves into this odd breed, one of its heads splits into two. It runs at nearly 40 miles per hour. Wow. Alright, nickname for you, uh, <laughs> I got the perfect name for this one, because <laughs> no, normally it's Dodrio, right? But since it's ground type, Dirt Drio, yeah, <laughs> uh, ground type's not bad, honestly, it's only weak to, uh, like, water and ice, oh, and I guess grass too, but, uh, I guess we'll go check out Dodrio later. Yeah, because now we're down to two Pokeballs. Okay, so let's, uh, I don't know if I took on all the trainers here on the mine, but now that we're down to just two Pokeballs. Oh, Gurmy, that's the first one of those we've seen. Uh, I'm pretty sure this thing has a pretty low catch rate. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that these things do learn Protect really early. Mm. I'm not gonna waste my time, but I may come back just to, 
just because it does have a low catch rate, you know, once we get more balls, and uh, just to see, you know, like what ability it has, so. Yeah, but protect is kind of annoying, so don't want to waste too much of my time. All right, Chanta. Let's go. Oh, it doesn't affect. Oh, and this thing is ghost type, too. All right, all right. Uh, in comes White Ray, I guess. He's our resident ghost killer. Ah, you resist electricity now. Very clever, very clever. Uh, well, maybe he's grass type? Let's try pick. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So he is grass type, or like fighting type, or whatever. So I guess he is lower in our attack, though. Uh, I think I remember that Chatot has a pretty high catch rate. I mean, you wouldn't think so for a Pokemon that doesn't evolve or anything, but yeah. We may not try to catch that one until we have Ultra Balls, believe it or not, so. All right, non curves catching up, plus threes. Good, good, good. All right. Um, so let's see if we can fight people here. Oh, first, a battle. What we got? Time. Hmm. This thing's a little bulkier than. Ooh, I did a lot of damage. <laughs> Who knew that Carnivine had such a high attack stat? Hmm. Not bad, Carnivine. That might actually impress me, bro. But yeah, you can't flinch me now. I've got the speed boost. I have the high ground. Jeez, that got us all the way. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Well, I can't switch out anyway. Uh, but I'm not gonna post you. I'm just gonna... Oh, 1 HP. Oh, sorry, Don Crow. Sorry. Man, we were so close there. Yeah. Oh, wait. We, we survived? Sweet. Horn attack. Yeah, give me that ESP. Yeah. Clutch, Don Crow. Clutch. 187. That's a lot. Oh, and we level up. Wow, wow. All right. Very good, very good. Um, but I don't want to go all the way back. So, and, you know, potions will become pretty obsolete here soon. So, I don't mind wasting one. Uh, potion. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's talk to this guy. See if he'll battle us. I'm at these Machop on Route 207. They are now become my most trusted partners. All right. Uh, do you want to battle? I might have already battled some of these guys, but it's been a while, I don't remember. Okay, okay, time for work. I'll work up a thirst with my Pokemon. Hmm, okay. I guess we'll just, uh, yeah, talk to, uh, this guy. Hello. Oh, okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden mat of move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you get the badge from the gym in this town, hint, 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 you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat me, the gym leader first. That'd be me. Good day. See ya. Macho. Oh, there's an item here. Fine. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Just a quick battle on my break. Let's do it, bro. Robin, what you got, bro? <laughs> Zig <-Zigu. laughs> Uh I actually have a soft spot for Zig Zigu, and I actually really like it. Uh, mainly because, uh, you know, Pickup was really, really, really broken in uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Emerald, not so much. You had to level it up quite a bit to get, like... But, like, you, you could start off with a level 2 Zig Zigu and Ruby and start picking up full restores on the first route of the game. Hilarious, hilarious. So yeah, I always used to catch two or three for that reason. You know, once I figured it out as a kid, of course. Alright, he's using rap. Um oh, Ickman's about to spit some rhymes. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright. Whoa! 
Ha! Mercy! I cry mercy! Alright. I better get on back to work. Yeah, bro. You know, I'd rather be traveling around with Pokemon the way you do. Hey, you know, I feel the same. You know, if Pokemon were real, I definitely, you know, would go for the Elite Four and stuff. Oval Stone. I don't remember what that evolves, but uh, hmm, maybe I'll look it up off screen. Well, with that done, I think we'll get out of here. Lick the fire. And uh, yeah, we'll get out of here. And ooh, I'm weak to electricity, aren't I? Ah, screw it. Yeah, yeah, he's just gonna quick attack us. I was about to say, maybe I just sh should switch, but dang it. Oh, he resists. Um, yeah, let's get out of here, Don Crow. I kind of want the XP, so. Psychic as well. Yeah, yeah. I remember that we got lucky with stab on it, so. Alright. Nice EXP. And we'll just uh, head on out. Yeah. What do we got? Crocodiles here. Oh. Okay. Okay, this uh this session of looking around was definitely worth it. Now oh psh. <laughs> Another Pokemon that's part ghost type. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, Croconaw, another starter, potentially. Um, now, we're pretty low on Pokeballs, so I'm not going to try to catch him right now. But I will uh, remember to come back for this guy, because uh, I think we're going to do the gym next episode. That should give us a little more money, so that way I can buy 10 Pokeballs, and we'll come back down here and try to find this guy. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. So he's in the lowest part of the mine. I, I think I can remember that. I think I can remember that. Nice, another starter. Okay. Alright. Good find. Alright. And we know he's uh, at least ghost type. He may have another type, but. I fired fetched, I fired fetched. Alright. Holy breaker, okay. What in the world? Oh, okay, okay, I had berry juice. I was getting ready to say, if this thing had, a uh, Had, a uh, like, leftovers activated, I would definitely consider trying to catch it. Uh, although I'm pretty sure Farfetch'd has a pretty high encounter rate, but the leftover items might be worth it, honestly. But no, it's just berry juice, so... Yeah, we'll pass, we'll pass, so... Hmm... <laughs> random Pokemon getting berry juice. What are the odds of that? <laughs> Pretty low, I'd say. Unknown. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Just for fun. Uh, wait, did he trace my... Oh, he traced my speed boost. Okay. I was going to switch to Paris just to see what, uh... <laughs> what ability this thing got. But apparently it got trace in a good hidden power. So... said no I'm not going down uh knock off um let's see yeah let's check our moves here uh it is physical so hmm I think Donphan learns roll out eventually so I think I'll get rid of flail hmm although flail might have been good to keep uh knockoffs kind of I just thought about that yeah knockoffs actually kind of useful in this game because, um, like, yeah, let's say you're fighting a wild Pokemon and you're not sure, or you're just, like, doing some scouting like I am, and you're, you know, yeah, you're trying to scout and see what Pokemon have what items. So if knockoff works, then you know, like, yeah, that Pokemon's holding, like, a random TM or, like, a nugget or something. So that's actually pretty helpful. I did not know Dontran learned that. 
this early in this game, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty glad we decided to use them. That's, uh, I have a feeling that's going to be pretty helpful uh, a little later in this LP. If nothing else, to scout for items. What in the world? Oh! Apparently mess spirits here too. Oh my god, that, that music actually scared me for a second, but yeah, I kind of forgot. Yeah, we could run into... Oh man, another Pokemon with the legendary theme. Tell me, girl. Uh, what is that, like three so far? Okay, wow. Okay. Uh, well, of course, I'm not going to try to catch this thing, but uh, it is cool to know it's here. So we got Mess Spirit, we've got, uh, yeah, and Croconaw here in the mine. Wow, this episode's, yeah, the look around was definitely worth it. <laughs> Man, and I spent like all that time here in the first room, but I don't think that we ever ran into this thing, so it must be pretty rare here. But it's good to know it's here, you know, in case I want to go after her. Yeah, once we get once we get Ultra Balls, I probably will double back and uh, you know try for one or two legendary Pokemon, you know, just for fun. So, but uh, yeah, <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I'll try to make a mental note of that. Uh, Mesper in the cave. All right, but well, we definitely need to heal up. All right, guys, but um, I think that's what what do we have on time? Tell you what, I think we could go for a few more minutes, but uh, we're just gonna, yeah, this, this has been pretty worthwhile, you know, just having a look around. Um, but in the next episode, I think we'll head over here and take on the Orberg Gym. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I could look at uh, Duck Trio while well, I've got you guys here just to see um, if it's got any items or, uh, yeah, wait, did Artie look at Duck Trio? I don't remember. Uh, no, 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 we caught... Oh, yeah, we caught this Dirt Drio. <laughs> it confuses me, the two Drios. Uh, gentle. Iron Fist? <laughs> That's so funny. Boost the power of punching moves. I <laughs> had to burn with three heads. I don't know if we could make much use of that, but it is holding a random TM. Oh, wait, I can just uh, go item. Take this TM, yes. Okay, so let's see what this random TM is before we end the episode. Uh, 76, it said, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, TMs. <laughs> Chatter. <laughs> oh, wow, that is, uh, that's pretty funny. So if you don't know, this is a uh, Chat's uh, signature move. And the way it works is, you know, you use it and uh, it actually uh, detects your uh, your mic on your DS. Uh, this is a completely useless move to us here in the randomizer. But uh, yeah, basically the louder you scream or the louder you, uh, you know, say words or whatever, the more powerful chatter becomes. So that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that. At least I'm pretty sure that's how chatter works. So, uh, but yeah, I guess I'll check it in between episodes, because I'm pretty sure that's Chat Odd's move, but, uh, uh, yeah, that's funny. Okay, but that's gonna end it for us here today. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you all the next time on Pokemon Platinum. Alright, bye-bye.